Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be the fourth video in my Motivic Development video series. Before watching this video, I highly recommend you check out the previous few in the series because they all kind of build one on top of the other. I put all the other Motivic Development videos in a playlist and I'm going to leave the link to that playlist down in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you a Motivic Development technique called Fragmentation. As always, I will first explain what it is and then I'll show you what it sounds like and how to practice it. So here's fragmentation for you. You play a slightly longer motif containing developable characteristics for two or three bars. You rest and then you develop the first half of the motif you just played by repeating its rhythm and changing its notes. Again, you play a slightly longer motif containing developable characteristics for two or three bars. Then you rest, and then you develop the first half of the motif you just played by repeating the same rhythm of that first half and changing its notes. And it sounds a little something like this. Another way to do fragmentation is developing the second half of the motif. And this is what that looks like. You play a slightly longer motif containing developable characteristics for two or three bars. Then you rest. Then you develop the second half of the motif you just played by repeating its rhythm and changing its notes. Again, you play a slightly longer motif containing developable characteristics for two or three bars. Then you rest, and then you develop the second half of that motif by repeating its rhythm and changing its notes. And it sounds a little something like this. Again, just like with the rest of the motivic development techniques, notice how much syntax and logic this adds to your lines and to your improvisations. This kind of stuff is what turns your solo into a speech as opposed to a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Motivic development adds compositional qualities to your solos, turning your playing into actual language as opposed to just a collection of sounds. In regular languages like English or French, Along with syntax, there are also specific meanings to words. For instance, a table means a table. But in the language of music, the phrase doesn't actually mean anything specific. This reality makes motivic development and syntax all the more important. Because this is essentially all we have left to work with in order to make music a language. Syntax, pattern, is ultimately all we have to help our lines and phrases actually make sense and add up to some sort of a meaningful expression.
And this is why I'm so excited about the Motivic Development series. Motivic Development is, again, one of the most important topics in improvising and the one thing sorely missing in most people's playing. That's about it, you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions or requests. I respond to every single comment and every single person and I try to coach you guys as much as possible to make sure you get as much value from these videos as you can. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, it probably means you like these videos and you want to see more of them coming. Well, in that case, go ahead and hit that bell notification button below so that these videos come straight to you as soon as I release them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.